Everything happens in rhythm. Chris said, let's put this rhythm together. And I said, what do you think about destroying New York? I'm smart enough to always check to see what Kevin's doing before I go on tour. Because I'm not, I'm not getting stomped by <laughs> Kevin. It's just not happening. I said, why don't we do something together? We should do a tour together. I'm like, who no. are you, motherfucker? This is a story of two separate journeys that end up at the same intersection at the top. I started when I was 18, 19. Like, what's your father's job in life? Is to interrupt you when you're getting ready to do something. Once I got good, things moved really fast. He was the first guy I ever heard write jokes like a song with hooks and everything. If you made it as a comedian, you weren't like whoever on this sitcom. You're Chris Rock. The first real comedic star that I had a conversation with was Chris Rock. Chris embraced me as a young comic. When you see someone else who has potential, you want them to be better. <laughs> Wait, was I famous and you like had a regular job? I was working as a shoe salesman. Huh? That is amazing. <laughs> the New York comedy scene is what actually made me a comedian. Your comedy clubs until 3, 4 in the morning and you're talking to other comics. Just to get something on my chest before I even start. Learning to become a comedian is learning to be you. Kevin was doing the highest grossing tour in the history of stand-up comedy tours. That work ethic is all attached to my mom. The biggest reward to your parents is just seeing their child figure it out. I wish my mom could have seen me figure it out. Oh. Art is subjective. Oh. Comedy is subjective. Oh. Killing on stage is not subjective. When we realize that we have an opportunity to make the most of a moment that'll live forever.